Mark Aguirre has a really interesting and kind of sad story for his career. I am higher on Mark than the consensus, and I do believe The Matrix underrates him just due to the low awards. Like, Mark is just a three-time All-Star and does not sniff an All-NBA team. But it is important to note that there's only two All-NBA teams, and the forward position was pretty stacked during the early part of his career. Like, Mark is a top 10 scorer five times in his career, including second in 84. But he's playing in a time where there are just a ton of great scoring small forwards. Bernard King, Dominique Wilkins, Larry Bird, Adrian Dantley, Alex English. So him being an awesome scorer in the early 80s doesn't actually mean quite as much as it would today. Although today still has a lot of really good small forwards. I think the 80s and like right now are like the two peaks of the small forward position. But with that said, there's a good case that he could have been an all-star in 85 and 86. Um, they give Ronaldo Blackman the slots for Dallas. Dallas is about a 500 team. They're 44 wins. And so you're not giving them two all-stars and the competition at forward is just greater. So they give to Blackman instead of Aguirre. Eventually, Aguirre and the Mavs do make it up to the 50-win mark, and they even push the 88 Lakers to Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals. Now, we can look over the numbers. They're only pushing the Lakers that far because Aguirre was that good. However, Aguirre has what they call a bad game, and a lot of his teammates feel he quit on the team. I'm going to go ahead and put in some quotes from his teammates after he got traded. They are not kind. Go ahead and pause if you'd like. After the trade, Sports Illustrated ran an article which begins with, Aguirre and Dantley have long been variations on the same theme, men of immense talent, immense ego, and said immense capacity to shear years off a coach's life. There was no love lost for either of these guys at the trade, but Isaiah Thomas knew Aguirre. And Aguirre comes in and Aguirre does the thing that Dantley's not willing to do, which is sacrifice. Dennis Rodman had gotten better, he takes over the starting spot, and I guess like him and Aguirre kind of tag team it. They each go for about 26 minutes a night, there's a little overlap, but basically you go offense or you go defense. Aguirre's scoring instantly drops from 20s to mid-teens just due to the roll. And over the next two playoff runs, Aguirre is able to do the little stuff. He rebounds well, he plays defense, and he's still capable of having those big scoring nights when the Pistons need him, but he doesn't do it all of the time. Isaiah has said that Aguirre gave up a Hall of Fame career coming to the Pistons. I think that might be overselling it a bit, but I do think that if he stayed on his own and continued to score 20 plus points, we'd look at a guy that scored 20 on average for a decade. And that very well may be enough to get a Hall of Fame career. 